All right, for the cell phone bill and art store transaction, you are gonna have two pages of uh, questions from the transactions that you make. Um, so here's the first one. It says your online cell phone bill is here. MTA phone services, PO box 9999, Sandusky, Ohio 44870. The bill at a glance, here's your account number. Um, here is your previous payment of 5876, your balance and your current charges, 5876. MTA phone service. So on the right-hand side of this bill, it says manage your MTA phone services account. Data charges, $27.98. Monthly service charge, $25.47. Taxes and surcharges, $5.31. Your total due is $58.76. It's due by April 27th. So what type of transaction will this be? Is this a withdrawal or a deposit? Question two. When is the payment due? So find the due date and write it in the box. Question three, who do you make the payment to? What company is your service provider? Okay, so then you need to mark the date on the calendar, okay? So here it is, you're gonna look here and on the 27th, you're gonna write phone due. Did you mark the date on your calendar? Yes or no. Then you're going to have to go back and look at um, uh, when you need to pay it. Because if you were to pay it, the date that it was due on the 27th, you would have a late fee because it might not be processed by then. Well, you could potentially have a, a late fee. So we're going to go look at the 27th. So let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna look at the calendar and we're gonna count five days back. So here it is where we have um, on the 27th and we're gonna count back to the 26th, which is one, the 25th, which is two, 24th, which is three, 23rd, which is four, and 22nd, which is the fifth day. So you're gonna put pay phone bill on the 22nd, okay? So now make sure that you write, uh, did you mark the payment date on the calendar? Yes or no? And it says hint, count five days before the due date. All right, so now we're gonna write this on the check register. Now, um, because the thing, the uh, transactions were a little off, we're gonna just um, do this here. So on 4-22-21, you're gonna write MTA phone. And that was $58.76. And since it's a withdrawal, it goes in this first column. You're going to subtract that from your balance. And here is the, the, the amount that you should have, $1,611.14. So now, did you go in and write that down on, the, um, on your register? OK, so if you did that, then write yes in this box. All right. So now we're gonna move on to, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna move on to um, this transaction that we made at Adeline's Art Supplies and more. So it says time to record your debit card payment, Adeline's, Adeline's Art Supplies and more, 4101 Create Street here on Ohio. The date was 428, 2022, 20, I'm sorry, 2021. Number one, the first or the first thing you bought was paintbrush set at $10.99. You bought six bottles of acrylic paint at $9.67. Uh, you bought one easel at $31.99. And you have tax, which is $3.69 for a grand total amount 
of $56.34. So what type of transaction is this? A withdrawal or a deposit? Question eight, when was the payment made? So we're looking for a date, when? We're looking for a date. So find that and type that in the box. Question nine, how much was the payment? So how much did you, did you take out of your account for Adeline's art supplies? At art, Adeline's art supplies, for your art supplies. Question 10, who was the payment made to? So what's the company that you spent your money, uh, where you spent your money on? So what was the name of the company? Okay, so now we need to get out our calendars. And for this one, it says, did you mark the date on the calendar? Okay, so for the calendar, you have to write Adeline's art supply, your purchase there. And that is right here on the 28th. So make sure you write um, Adeline's art supplies and more, or you can write art supplies, that's fine too, but put it on Wednesday the 28th. Okay, so now we're gonna do um, the next question, actually. So that says, did you mark the date on the calendar? And you're gonna write yes, okay? Okay, so for question 12, you're gonna write, did you write this payment on the check register? So this is the last question. So we're gonna look at our check register. We're gonna see the bottom transaction for 28.21 art supplies at $56.31. And your grand total is $1,554.76. So here is the grand total for all of the things that you've purchased. So now that we've got our last transaction and for the month, um, we have all of our information here. So make sure you've got that on the check register. And since that's the last question, it says, did you write this payment in the check register? Right, yes. And um, then don't forget to submit your quiz. Make sure that you've got all these um, answered and you didn't leave anything blank. Okay. And then I will see you on the next assignment. Bye.